Hi folks, so as you can tell I've been working on this small project, this A4 size canvas and um, I've already part done it so I'm going to explain to you how I've done the first bit. Um, that little glass um, I used to mix up some colours um, with the sea colours which I used um, neon blue and I made a lighter version by adding white. I used, used Prussian um, blue and also I had a little bit of um, um, sea green, it's like sea foam green I used as well. So at the very start when I first poured it I put a little bit of white around the cup so before I dragged the cup down the page as you can see there's white mixed into the top I'm trying to make the surface look a little bit whiter than the bottom so now I've mixed up some coral colors with just two drops of black um, into this small tube because I need to have something really small um, to guide accurately around this small white part of the canvas so I don't go over what I've already done. Um, so the colours for this um, was um, yellow ochre and then a paler version of that by adding white and then I had a neon orange and about halfway um, after, I, well, after I'd done the first lot I just added a little bit of black in before I other, added the other layers and at the very end I add in another piece of black. So the bottom of the seabed that you can see now, um, as it is, I added those colours on the bottom on top of the blue when the blue was still wet. Um, some lime greens and some uh, magenta which I made a little bit paler for some pink and I just tried to give it an effect of different seaweeds and sponges growing and coral and um, why um, and also sorry the jellyfish as well I added them when the paint was still wet and um, I was using a cocktail stick and a barbecue skewer to drag the colours back into the blue so um, next we're going to see I used were yellow ochre and some paler yellow ochre which was just some white in there um, I drop in a little bit of black just a tiny little drop after my first layer of paint and I also used some neon neon orange in there too so I'm just hoping as I lay it down with the tube um, that that would be accurate enough so that don't actually go over the parts that you can see already that's already dry so let's see how this goes and then later on um, you'll see me doing some work with the natural sea sponges on the right <laughs> 